Hello, my name is Arindam and in this video I will be comparing between all the 9 alpha predators on the Fyodor map with respect to how many rune stones they actually give when they die. So we are going to be comparing between the alpha versions of Raptor, Carno, T-Rex, Basilisk, Carcinos, Megalodon, Lead, Sictis, Mosasaur and Tusotuthis. And I will be showing you how many rune stones these creatures drop when they are at their minimum level of 5 and their maximum level of 150. For the lead Sictis, they always spawn at level 1. So I am going to be showing you an alpha lead, lead Sictis fight only for level 1. You need these rune stones to actually unlock the mini world boss fights for Bela, Skjol, Hati and Steinborn which themselves are required if you want to take on the island world bosses and then finally on to the Fenrir Sulphur bosses. Now with that being said, let me start off with the first one which is the Alpha Raptor. So first off we have Alpha Raptors. This level 5 Alpha Raptor, if I can get a lock, is going to give only one rune stone while a level 150 will give only 10 rune stone. Next up, we have Alpha Carno. So, this level 5 Alpha Carno gives 3 rune stones only, while a 150 Alpha Carno gives 19 rune stone. Next up, we have the Alpha T Rex. So, a level 5 Alpha T Rex gives just 9 rune stone, while a 150 gives 39 rune stone. Remember that you only need 30 rune stone to unlock the world bosses which means if you get an alpha t-rex close to the maximum level and if you have the equipment or the dinos to kill it that should suffice for one entire uh, world boss run. Next on the list is the alpha carcinos. So a level 5 alpha carcinos is actually going to give 8 rune stone while a level 150 alpha carcinos is going to give 38 rune stone which also means that the alpha carcinos is giving the same amount of rune stone as an alpha t-rex also when i kill an alpha carcinos its special inventory like this part it does not directly come into my personal inventory i need to manually go into the body and search for my rune stone inside it. Okay. Now we are going to come up with the even rarer alpha basilisk. So you can get a lock. The level 5 and the level 150. Again, these aberration alpha predators you actually have to go into their inventory to get their uh, respective loot. So a level 5 gives 8 rune stone while a level 150 gives 35 rune stone which means that on average the T-Rex, Carcinos and the Basilisk all give similar amount of rune stones. Unfortunately the Basilisk and the Carcinos is extremely rare on this map and I have only encountered only one of them. Well, except the ones that have spawned in on this map. Now, these are all of the ones that are found on land. Let me show you how many rune stones you get for all of the different sea creatures. The first sea creature is the Alpha Megalodon. So, a level 5 Alpha Megalodon is going to give around 7 rune stone on average. While if I can get to the other one, wherever that guy is, a level 150 gives around 33 rune stone, which means that a high level alpha megalodon should give you enough rune stone to actually unlock one of the world bosses. And by the way, high level alpha megalodons are much easily found compared to some of the other high level alpha creatures like alpha rexes. 
So alpha megalodons, if you can find them, are a great way to get rune stones. But hey, there are even better ways to get rune stone. So I'll see you for the next part. Next up, we have the alpha lead sictis or the alpha leads or the Moby Dick. This one only spawns at level one. And if I were to kill an alpha lead sictis and gaze at gaze at its dying body, I should get fifteen rune stone, which means that. Uh, killing two of these alpha lead sickness which are passive by default and aggroed only when you attack So killing two of them should give you enough for an alpha boss fight But whatever creatures you have seen right now, they give at max around 39 rune stone, but there are two creatures which give a lot of rune stone and they are the alpha Tuso and alpha Mosa which I'll cover right now So now we come to the big two we have an alpha mosasaur of level 5 which after it dies it gives 18 rune stone just for a minimum level 5 while a max level alpha mosasaur of level 150 gives 73 rune stone imagine the amount of rune stone you get obviously this is not an easy feat to kill something this powerful and which is of that high level but hey Alpha Mosasaur only gives 73 at your level 150, but the highest amount is gotten by the next creature. Yes, the next creature, the finale. We have Alpha Tuso Thutis. A level 5 Alpha Tuso already gives 26 rune stone, while the highest rune stone possible but for any creature in Fjordar is a 150 alpha Tuso and that gives 100 rune stone yes 100 and remember there are three world boss arenas one for one each for the Steinborn Bela and combined Skjol and Hati so which means you need only 90 rune stone if you want to do each of the bosses once and this one alone gives 100 rune stone obviously it is not a very easy thing to actually defeat or rather even find an Alpha Tuso or an Alpha Musa, but they are well worth their risk. So, you so saw I have compared and given you information about all the nine Alpha Predators and how many Dune Stones you'll get from them. I hope you understand which Alpha Predator you should get. I don't want you to be adventurous. You can obviously use can obviously farm alpha raptors and alpha megalodons which are much safer compared to challenging these big guys and yeah if you enjoyed this video and if you don't mind me using uh, you know creative mode and other uh, admin comments then i hope you drop a like and subscribe i will be seeing you in the next video and by the way i am going to be covering all possible types of fjordar maps from now on sorry all fjordar types of videos so yeah stay tuned Thank you for watching and it has been my pleasure.